wondering why I'm all wrapped up in a blanket. It's because I got a cold, so I'm trying my best to uh, stay warm and everything. Which is also going to explain why I sound all sloughed up and stuff like that. The past couple of weeks have been pretty crazy. Um, I briefly went back to Canada for Chisuk and then the next weekend I proceed to go to Comic World. Um, so this is really going to focus on talking about Comic World. I might talk a bit about um, my trip back home in a literary time. Basically, I just kind of wanted to wrap a video of that, whether or not it's worth to come to or rather go to a comic world, kind of a little bit of story time, stuff like that. So I originally did have a video I was going to post like I think a couple of weeks ago, but I never got around to it, mostly because I wanted to add music to it. And then I did the dumb idea of deleting the base video. So even though I did all the editing for it, I basically lost all the data for that footage. So if you don't know what Comic World is, Comic World is basically a convention that happens every one and a half months in Seoul and I believe every two months in Busan. The style is sort of like going to Comic Cat, so a lot of the work is more focused towards artists and kind of like a art gathering basically. It also has a lot of cosplaying and lots of events regarding that. If you remember my last video, you'll know that the ticket price for Saturday and Sunday was about 40,000 won. Now the price for each day for Comic World was Ultimum, which basically means a 5,000 won, equating to roughly $5. And you had to pay that for both days. The line wasn't too terrible actually. Clearly, all you do is you pay the money to get the ticket in order to go to the event which hosts all the, all the artists and the changing areas for the cosplayers. You can also pre-order your ticket if you know enough Korean or if you are a cosplayer you can actually get in through a different route. Now the problem with going with the cosplayer route is that if you are indeed cosplaying you're not allowed to wear any makeup or have any costume or any parts of your costume on rather. You have to go completely bare in order to go that route. Once you get into the event and if you're cosplaying, you'll go to the cosplay area or rather the changing area and you have to register. So what you would register is basically your name, your contact information, the character you're cosplaying. You don't have to worry about writing everything in Hangul. Um, it's just basically a formality. You can write it in English. You bring all that to the staff who will then register your cosplay number and then they'll give you a wristband with the number. Once you register, you also have to pay an additional fee of 1,000 won and this is mostly for using the change room area. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you can avoid paying the 1,000 won fee to be honest, but I do know you need it if you want to register as a cosplayer and they do actually check in some areas. I wasn't checked on Sunday, but I know I was checked on Saturday. I'm pretty sure you can avoid it if you just stay outside completely. Um, but that being said, you know, a dollar is not really gonna kill you to pay. Um, so after you pay for all that and you line up to go to the change room, where there are two mirrors from what I could see, and they're not exactly the biggest mirrors, they're really small, and it's kind of just like going into a change room at any retail place. It's not like a fancy setup. Remember, you're only paying like one dollar, so calm down. There is an area where you actually put on your wig and put on your makeup and stuff like that. You don't actually have to use this makeup area if you don't really mind being out in the open to do all that stuff. But the major thing is, is that you don't want to do it in the bathroom from what I could see or that you want to avoid doing it in the bathroom. I think it's mostly so you don't get the space dirty. Um, and if you are worried if there is a separate area for men and women, there are. In the past at Comic World, women were allowed to show torso. I'm not sure about cleavage, that's debatable. But you're definitely allowed to show torso. You are no longer, or at least at that location in particular that we went to, you are not allowed to have or show any torso or any cleavage. You can wear kind of a V, like those V-line strapless things, or like those V-line strapless cups. 
However, you're not allowed to have any cleavage, so preferably if you don't have any ladies, um, you should be good. But otherwise, you do have to hike it up or you have to hide it with a tank top. And they do actually have tank tops available to purchase if you are in violation of the rules because they understand that people may not have realized the rules. And this is specifically from the for the women. I'm not sure if um, men also have to follow under these same rules, but regardless, you do have to have an undershirt. With the length of skirt or shorts, it's preferred not to be super, super like booty shorts, uh, especially for the skirts. Uh, you have to wear shorts underneath, um, or they have to be quite long. I theorized the reason why they changed the rules was because of the fact that some parents may have been complaining. More specifically, daughters, I think, are cosplaying characters that are a little bit too revealing for their comfort. So I'm not sure if that's the actual reason. But yeah, so that's a thing in Korea. So if you want to go to Comic World and you're a Westerner and you want to bring something that's more on the sexy side, I would probably recommend you leaving it at home. Probably try to bring something that's considerably more on the conservative side. If you want to cosplay something a little bit more on the skimpy side, I would definitely recommend going to Comic Con. But if you want to cosplay um, at a cheaper event and something that's more frequent, like Comic World, I would say definitely wear something that's considerably conservative just to save you from the headache and everything. Everyone in general is pretty welcoming and there are some pretty nice uh, Korean cosplayers. Unfortunately, I couldn't talk to any of them. I do want to talk more, but at the same time, I feel this video is going to get very long. So I'm going to stop it right here. I'll show you some of my goodies that I got on Sunday, some of which are for my students. Um, and yeah, I got a lot of cat stuff for myself and I don't even own a cat. So thanks for watching. I'm sorry I'm sick. I'm sorry this is not the most attractive version of me you're ever gonna see. But um, yeah, I just really needed to pump something out because I have been really sucking off lately. I will see you next time, bye.